arrived at uh, at Southampton, I didn't know much about him. In, in all fairness, and the way he was playing there, I was looking at him, and I was like, you know, although I saw him play a bit before, you know, but I, I could, you couldn't, I wasn't really watching the games that he was playing before. But when he arrived in the, in the Premier League, that's when you tend to watch and see what a player can do because then then we arrive to reality. That's that's not an easy league, and so he arrived there performing well playing very well people were talking about him going to some big clubs then he went to Tottenham and I think I mentioned it last season I think he's the unsung hero but people playing in this position unfortunately do, do not apart from N'Golo Conte recently and Makilele back in the days and Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira but when you play as a holding midfielder it's when you don't play that suddenly people do realize what you were doing doing you know not not for the first time you have a Kenyan guy doing well there. His big brother was was also there doing what he was doing. I remember Oliesh playing for Not in France and and, uh, and Ajaccio. We have one in the national team, Divo Corrigi, uh, uh, playing for us. You have the Olsen brothers that are half Kenyan. I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, uh, so so yes, but uh, obviously I think the one that people mention the most at the minute is, is Victor Wanyama, and you should be proud of him and what he's doing. And yes, I, I still believe he's an he's an unsung hero because of what I mentioned before, because people tend always to go to the guy that scores goals or gives an assist or, or, or the captain or the or, or the guy that we talk the most about. And I think N'Golo Conte changed that a bit with with Makelele where where they made that position fashionable, if I, if I, if I can say. And, and Wanyama is doing that. Yeah. One of uh, the, the coaches that developed my brain, so I can only be uh, grateful, for that, grateful for that. And when you talk about, if you go and fast forward, like, like, like you said, into the, 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 the punditry, you, 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 no, one, no one will ever and should ever attack the legacy of the man because it changed, it changed the club. It changed how the club was... Yeah, the club is viewed in the world, not only in England, in the world. And so you have to give him respect for that. Yeah. Um, the legacy that the man has at the club is, is, uh, is untouchable. And um, that, George Weah for me was, was from another planet. I will give another one, uh, Abidipole. Abidipole was good also. Yeah.